Hello and welcome to Megawatt. I'm Katie Scott and we're going to give you a rundown of the hottest stories of the week. This week included the launch of the Intel Centrino 2 technology and we went along to the launch of the various laptops that have come about because of it. And also Stuart checks out the Philips Aurora 2 television and Sonim's Tough Phone. Stay tuned. So here we go, it's the Sonim Tough Phone. Why is it tough? Well, supposedly it's just indestructible, military grade proof we're told. And here we're gonna try and test it. Now before we do, we'll quickly probably tell you while it's still working, it's pretty basic, it's GSM, it's a phone and text, there's no sort of crazy smartphone functions, there's no camera, it's got WAP, it's got Bluetooth, but that's about as far as it goes. The idea is that it's for Polish builders, probably tradespeople who are in tough environments and want to get it beaten up. So does it survive it? Well, we're gonna throw it on the floor. It still seems to be working. I don't think my mic is. So now we're gonna try and throw it against the wall. Well, we've broken that bit. Oh no, no, that can still go back in. Yeah, that's still fixed. Well, it seems to have done the trick. I'm not sure what else we can do. Let's jump on it again. Well, it's now saying network registering, but I don't think that's any fair. No, nope, we're back to normal. There you have it, the Sonim Tough Phone, and it does seem to be really tough. So we've come down to the raceway in East London for the launch of four new laptops from Rock, and we had a chance to have a chat with both the chaps from Intel as well as the chaps from Rock to talk us through the new launches. So make sure you stay tuned. So I'm here with Alistair from Intel, who's going to explain to us a bit about today's launches. So Alistair, what's been launched today? Well, what's been specifically launched is Rock's new range of notebooks based on Intel Centrino 2 uh, technology. Okay. Basically, a much improved performance in notebooks, giving you a much better high def uh, viewing experience. You can watch like an entire Blu-ray movie on a single battery, for instance. Mm -hmm. So generally improving the connectivity, the performance, the battery life, those things we look to do every year. Obviously, next gen. So you guys have been working with not just Rock, but a whole series of manufacturers, haven't you? Yes, this? I mean, we've got, we've got over 200 uh, what we call design wins mm -hmm. um, with, with various um, notebook manufacturers, some of which you might recognize, some of which are very country specific. But yes, yeah, sure. very, very broad support. Okay, so does that mean that there's going to be new products coming out with the, the new chips for a while? Yes, we, ref we refresh this pro product once a year. So we, okay. have a new, we have a new generation and then we refresh it kind of halfway through its life cycle. And, um, you know, so yes, we can expect improvements, but this is already improvement on its uh, previous generation. Fantastic. Well, thanks ever so much for talking to us about the new launch today. Not at all. Thank you. So I'm here with Rob from Stone Group, who's going to talk us through one of the new launches from Rock. So, Rob, talk me through what we have here. Yeah, this is the Extreme 780, uh, brand new product. It's going to be launching in August. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be on rockdirect.com as of uh, probably this week, actually. Okay. 17 inch notebook based on the new Intel Montevina platform. It's going to be running an X9100 CPU along with the new NVIDIA uh, 9800 GTX or GTS graphics. Okay, and who are you aiming this machine at? It's definitely for gamers. Okay. It's, uh, it's a, a true performance unit. We're, we're uh, launching the product with Assassin's Creed. That's going to be the first offer to go out there. So cool. if you buy a unit from us, the first 500 to go out will go with copies of Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Um, definitely for that market. Okay, and in terms of price? Price point to be confirmed. Um, depends on the final specification as well because the sure. units will be billed to order. Again, go back to rockdirect.com later on this month to see the, uh, the final price and final specifications of the product. Cool, and there were other launches today as well, weren't there? There were indeed. We've done four product launches today at Rocky Races. Um, we've launched two Pegasus units, which is a 13 inch and a 15 inch unit. Um, it's a real kind of hybrid product for us because we, we now, as Rock as part of the Stone Group, have opportunity to sell products into public sector markets. Mm -hmm. So the Pegasus 630, which is a 13.3 inch unit, it's the first 13.3 inch unit we've done, that hits an entry level gamer's price point. Equally, all do well in the, in the corporate markets of Stone, okay. Stone Company Service. Again, Pegasus 15.4 inch product based on an uh, NVIDIA 9600, so more of an entry level uh, graphics unit. Okay. 
but perfectly suited to, to entry level gamers. Price points on that, we're looking somewhere in the region of £1,100. Okay. And again, a 15.4 inch product coming in the Extreme series, which is going back to the roots of the, the original rock products. Fantastic. Well, thanks ever so much for your time, no explaining problem. everything to us. And um, as you said, people should just keep an eye on the website to Definitely. get the specs and also get the prices. Definitely. Okay, thank you thank very you. much. Cheers. You're probably already familiar with the MSI Wind, but have you met her naughty twin sister, the Advent 4211? Well, what do you get? You get the same small form factor netbook with a 10 inch screen, which is very good. You get the same Intel Atom processor. You get the same 80 gigabyte hard drive, gig of RAM and everything else. In fact, it's identical. The only difference is she's wearing a slightly different dress. So she appears slightly different. And the big difference, the killer difference, is that this one comes in at 50 pounds less. So if you have to make the choice, go with the cheaper sister. And this is the Advent 4211. So we've managed to bag a sneak peek at the new Philips Aria 2, which is due to be launched later in August at IFA. But in the meantime, here it is. Now, apologies for the bad light, but if I turn the lights on, you wouldn't see the glow coming out of the front of the screen. Now, if you weren't familiar with the Aria before, it's a television that has this big light bezel around the outside that changes color according to the images that are on screen. So when it's blue up the top, you get blue down there, and when it's green down here, you get green down there. You can probably see it working in action. The good thing about this is that Philips have updated the screen technology to their new 9000 panel, which was announced back in February. So you get pixel perfect HD 1080p quality images. They've improved the bezel itself, so it's now glass rather than plastic. And overall, it's considerably better just bringing, refreshing the line up to this year's range of televisions rather than being last year's technology. Due out in October, it will cost around two and a half thousand pounds, a saving, we're told, of 500 pounds on the first edition. And that's the Philips Aria 2. So I'm here with Robbie Duncan from Sony Vio, who's going to talk us through the new FW model. So Robbie, what's new? Well, um, we're very pleased and privileged to be here today to launch our new FW product. Um, the first thing to say is um, it's a unique 16.4 inch screen size. Okay. Um, it's also adopting um, the la recent launch of the Intel new platform, uh, which is Centrino 2, mm -hmm. which is featured throughout our FW series. And there's some real uh, design features um, that we, we wanted to pull out. We're trying to pull together um, a real consistent identity of our products. Okay. So we've got the cylindrical design, which as you can see, enables the screen to sit behind the product mm -hmm. which enables us to reduce the height so the overall size of the footprint of the product is that that much smaller sure. so it, although we would pr uh, predominantly put this as an in-home product and a, and a high performing product um, it enables us to look actually quite small in terms of the overall design and footprint okay our FW products will also feature Blu-ray to enable us to enjoy high definition content mm -hmm. on the screen through Blu-ray uh, and our two step-up models also um, features Blu-ray recordable, which has increased uh, capacity up to about 50 gigs worth of data can be stored on one bit. You said that there was um, sort of different different versions of the model available. How many different versions are there? There's, uh, we're launching four new uh, models. Um, mm -hmm. They range from around £680 trade price mm -hmm. uh, is the entry model, uh, up until about £1,100 trade price. Uh, and there's four models, okay. so an entry, um, a, mid, a two mid-range and a high-end. And who are you really aiming these models at? I mean, who, who's your core audience? We, we see it as a, a family uh, PC, sure. we see it as a desktop replacement type product because it's got all the power and performance of the latest technology built in. Okay. Um, we also see it as a, a appealing to um, your more technically savvy people that really want the latest and greatest, so the latest in Intel Centrino 2 platform, mm -hmm. the Blu-ray message, sure. all of these things will really appeal to that target market too. And when, when are the models actually available? They're actually available online today okay. uh, and we believe that they'll be out in the uh, in our retail, uh, key retail uh, shops by the weekend. Fantastic. So we're really excited about the launch. I'm sure. Well, thank you ever so much for your time, Robbie. Uh, no worries. Thank you. So that's it for this week, but make sure you join us again on Monday for the usual daily news and views from the world of gadgets and technology. And in the meantime, why not visit megawatt.tv for a whole host of quick reviews, as well as tips and tricks, and so much more. Thanks for watching.